Right, so this is my first ever Gov Club review. I'm gonna give this a go. This is my channel that I have started with. It's called Awful Golfers Guide. The goal from this is basically show awful golfers like me how to try and progress in golf, how to get better. So today's goal is we'll go down to my local driving range and we are gonna test my irons, which are my tailor-made CB Tor preferred irons, or a little bit advanced for an awful golfer but I'm gonna give it a whirl and I've got my R11 Termade driver which is really old and needs upgrade uh, it's got a super stiff shaft in there and I'm really looking forward to showing you what my life is like on the golf course as an awful golfer and also an awful golfer's guide I'm guiding you on how to get better from being awful golfers irons here, these are my wedges, I've got a 60 degree cut, um, a Cleveland, I got this for free uh, well, it cost me a dollar from Goodwill, it wasn't really free but it felt like it was free and uh, the face is in pretty bad nick, it's rusted over, but I love that, it means I get a bit more spin uh, but then you can see my rusty face, I like this, this wedge, it's not bad, you know, yeah, it's rusty though but for a dollar, you can't really complain uh, 54, Cleveland, this came with an X set of mine, uh, the old Cleveland nines I had um, again, cost me like two dollars for that set, but it is the CG14 Cleveland 54 degree iron I do have here is my Rescue Club, which you can see is, is very heavily used, but it's on eBay. I think it was some second swing, uh, dot com. Nice plug there, second swing. It's an 18 degrees, three hybrid, and uh, it's you know, pretty good. Simple, simple stuff. Gets the ball up in the air when I'm on like a fairway. I'm gonna get a bit more range, or I'm, I'm in the in the rough, and I need a bit more forgiveness. So, this next club is my. R11 tree wood. I'm lying, it's not an R11 tree wood, it's actually a Benny, I think Benny Sayers, Benny Sayers, get rid of those, Benny Sayers, yep, three wood, 15 degrees, had this for years, it was my dad's, he didn't like as much as I do. What have I got? <clears throat> what have I got in my bag? That's about it really. Got, you know, the, uh, the MC's, uh, Tor Preferred, Tailor Made Irons, which, you know, they're all right. For a pretty bad golfer, you know, they're not bad. But the again, that's just super thin when it comes to the if you look at the the length here. If my camera will just focus, there you go. They're very very thin, which means as as, another, as an awful golfer, I'm not really helping myself, give myself much forgiveness. So let's take a look at the last part, which is my putter. So you won't speed up today because my putting is you know pretty awful, as the title of the channel is called. But Got this putter for oh, again goodwill. It was covered in this kind of purple metallic coating, and you couldn't even see what it was. Like an, uh, all I could see was just the ping logo, which is there. And only reason why I know that it was a ping logo is I used to have a ping bag as a kid, and that logo was on it. I was like, oh, I can just about make out that logo there. It must be a ping putter. But it's covered in this purple gross. You couldn't even see any of this. That was just non-existent. It was just all this purple kind of metallic paint. Tipped it away and said, oh my god, I'm right. It's actually a pink putter. And I look at my research, which I'll probably show you on the screen in a second. It's from like, you know, early 2000s, early 90s. It's an older putter, which I can't believe it. And since then, it's okay. Now I put it up a, a Super Stroke. I think it's 2.0. Is it 1.0 or 2.0? It's 2 point So, super stroke group on there. Just trying to again help my hands. I get very handsy when I put. Um, and I want to try and avoid that. So, the guy just left who was next to me. Very awkward trying to move these channels. Two bit down for me. Very awkward. Right. So, now I can actually talk. Let me show you how to grab it. So, five iron on here. Trying to make sure that I get my hips in marked ever left. Uh, hips, swim, and slice. So I play awful golf. Yes, I've got good contact with the ball. Way over on the other fairway. And that sucks. <coughs> so, let's try again. Another one here. Off the deck, five iron. Now work on hip movement going forward. Mm -hmm. Uh, a bit better, a bit super low. So, five iron, that's 
it's going to go in the bag. Not a good start. Right then, so, my tailor-made burner super fast 2.0 rescue club. Let's see how she does. Well, this one I'm a bit more confident with. Wisconsin right now, Wisconsin is not bad, it's in October 3rd or 4th, it's a Thursday, and it's not cold, no, not bad, but windy, so the order might be a bit crappy. Here we go, so I'm going to try it my awful shot, but it isn't really awful, it's okay. So if I'm going to come down the ball and keep the same swing, I should. Again, that's an example where these rescue clubs for awful golfers, well, average golfers, even so, they are helpful because the ball comes out and that's really easy. You should get down the ball. So, you might not know this, but I have only had one golf lesson in my life. It was this year before COVID-19 kicked in, or about February time. So, my swing is pretty much self-taught. You know, I've played a lot of golf. I've played since I was 15, but never had a lesson, never been a member of a club, just always just played recreationally. Never played a tournament, never done anything. Just, you know, self-taught to some extent. I've got that one lesson. And let's see if I can get from down the this board. Let's go again. There. Now that one felt pretty good. That one there is one where hips are involved on the swing. So, ball went up, off the shot, went in. Let's see if I can try to get. So, again, this community is about building and trying to get more people aware of you know, how to help people that are helpless when it comes to helpful golfing. You're new to the sport, never played the sport before, and you want to figure out how to start and get going. So, what that's all about. Let's go again. So, I'm just looking at my hips involved, come down, bring my hips, swing. Going to someone that's really good at coaching on YouTube, Rick Shields. Brilliant. up a lot but it, again it's fading which for a typical golfer fade is typical uh, fading for average golfers or golfers don't know what fade is fade when the ball goes from contact right all the way right 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 and sometimes so far right take out some poor person on the next tee but in our case that one there's a slight fade it wasn't too bad but it was all right so let's try it again so my favorite, one of my little favorite clubs, mentioned it in kind of the intro to the video, is that I like this club because I can down the ball. Hips. And swing. Sometimes teaching helps your game. That's not normal. So, the next one. Three wood. Now three woods, uh, they're kind of hard to work with, they're not easy. Take a lot of work uh, from my you know, basic knowledge, it's just you've got to come down the ball. No, but I'm a golf, I'm a golf professional. Not really. I'm a tennis professional. So I teach tennis as my sport. So I'm gonna try and teach you everything that I know and I've learned. Because uh, I'm, I'm quite you know quite experienced in tennis teaching, but hopefully I can apply the same mechanics to golf. So let's think I've another awful golf shot here made all right but again this is my benny my benny sayers you probably won't focus my benny sayers three wood 15 degrees of loft you know regular the shaft so the swing is very fast swing is fast and here we go so try it again so come down and oh so, so that one was pretty good you know, putting this into a golf game, the golf course is way different on the range. Like my, my handicap, you know, I've never had an official one because I've never been a member anywhere. Is shoot around 20 over sometimes. Sometimes I shoot better than that. Typically, my front nine is pretty bad. Second nine is a lot better. Uh, it's more of a focusing thing than anything else. I don't have a focusing point. But let's try it again. So I'm going to go from the shot. So I'm going to go. 
Hips. And not bad, so that one was, was a draw. So, you know, for golfers out there, they don't know what a draw is. The draws and the ball goes from right to left. So, the review of this, this runs club is that it's home. So, I don't think maybe they even play this club anymore. But it does get to do the job. It has got the, what is it, 15 degrees of loft on the swing. It does help that at least to help it. And it is a fairway wood, so it's quite flat. So look at this, the contact here, it's quite a flat profile. So it helps you obviously trying to get down the ball. It doesn't get as caught in a fairway as it would do from a larger, more bulkier club. So, I don't know if this club is okay. Remember, you can look them down the ball. That's always very difficult. I'm sure people in this community have the same issue, they the top it. Let's go again. So it's down. That's a good golf shot, but putting that on a golf course, really hard to do. So let's try one more time. So, let's try the driver, shall we? The driver, so here it is. The one that people like to look at it is the R11 Termade driver. I think he's released it on kind of 2009 ish. 2010, I think, was the release date for it. So, we're going to borrow a tee. I happen to have one down here. A little tea here. So, this is the one that I struggle with probably the most. This driver, driving in general. My balls go ridiculous lose a lot of yardage from that. You know, I'm an awful golfer, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out at the moment how to do that. From what I'm gathering, I'm coming down the ball too much, rather than coming on the up of the ball. So, driving, you know, in golf, you're meant to catch the ball, for you awful, awful golfers out there, on the up, apparently. Apparently, could be wrong, but I'm an awful golfer. So, let's see if I can do it here. So, my tee in the ground. These are preset tees. They've got a like, blue line on them that show you put the, put the, put the uh, tee in the ground. Um, so I'll try and show this review of this golf club. It's all right. It's okay. So it is at eight degrees, degrees of loft. So I've got the ball on the inside of my heel. Apparently, you know, I could be wrong, but that sounds correct from what I've seen from all my YouTube watchings. And then the goal here is catch the ball on the up and avoid. In my case, my uh, top hand getting too, too aggressive. So, aim for my target. Let's give it a whirl. Here we go. First time swing out. I haven't even walked up yet. Oh, it's a straight left hook. Lean. And that's a good shot. Good contact. Again, the face is pretty good. Like it has the interchangeable weights, so it has the close, open and neutral, which is the C, the O and the N, neutral being um, no fade, closed, it's where the club head closes in, that is encouraging, I think it's encouraging draw, but again, I could be wrong, and the open is encouraging the fade, but again, I could be wrong. Alright, so again, R11 drive, wait on my back This R11 roughly around 250 carry. Well, carry means how far it travels before it obviously starts rolling. Which is okay. It's not bad for an average golfer or even an awful golfer. But again, it's my control of my shots is the hard part. So I am actually on my phone because I'm editing our videos right now as we speak. Just want to say thank you so much for watching the first video. Don't forget to please, if you want to consider it. Maybe like, leave some comments below and let's bring out more discussion here. And if you feel like it, subscribe and try and get us to our first 10 to 15 to even 100 subscribers. Let's see how it goes. All right, have a good day. Thanks.